Hello everybody, this is Damon Witzel from the How To Become a Christian Apologetics Network. That's How To with the numeral 2. You can check out all my websites at DamonWitzel.com. Uh, today here we are, I'm doing another video on Cat Kerr. Uh, after six days of weather witching and her recruiting, uh, uh, a bunch of weather warriors she calls them, but if you Google weather witching, you'll see that controlling the weather is something that witches and the occult have always claimed to do. Uh, today, after six days of, of doing this weather witching and failure as uh, uh, Hurricane Irma slams Florida, uh, she blames the failure on a learning curve. So let's check it out here a little bit, y'all. Uh, here's Cap Kerr's home page, I mean Facebook page, you can see this is uh, uh, her Weather Warriors number six, and this is really, this one's really discerning because she's at a church and she's got a whole church agreeing uh, with her now, she's had thousands of people agreeing with her uh, before, and it still hasn't worked, you can uh, come over to uh, my YouTube channel, just search Damon Witzel at YouTube in the search bar, and uh, you'll see I've done four videos. Basically, this one is where I do commentary like this, and the other three are just uh, uploading her videos. And so, let's look, here's all of the, uh, uh, there's some of the comments. We'll read through some of the comments here in a minute and show how uh, absurd this is that these people actually still believe that they have power over the weather even though uh, they've been commanding it for six days to go north and to dissipate and even though it hasn't done a darn thing uh, uh, but they twist it and manipulate it to make it look like uh, you know she said uh, that she come out she said on the last uh, weather warrior session that it's, it didn't follow the commands to go northeast and dissipate because the people in Florida were experiencing a drought and if you go to this video I show where the drought was over back in June they had seven days the whole of continuous rain the whole state got from three to twenty inches of rain they was no longer under a uh, drought and but they said she said that because the people were experiencing drought and they were praying for uh for rain that that overrode her commands you can see she's uh uh here i am i'm trying to scroll down wanting to show you all of the uh videos that she has made to show that she has been doing this since uh september the 5th here she is with her first video on September the 5th, today is September the 10th, so whenever you include the 5th, uh, that makes, uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 days that this weather witching, and I'm not going to call it weather warring, because it's weather witching, that's what it is. Uh, to think that you have the power and authority uh, uh, to control uh, devils and to control the storms is not Christianity at all, it's witchcraft build in Christian terms. So let's go ahead and watch uh, this video here and I'll say some comments along the way. This is a learning curve for a lot of the body who finally are standing up and do a learning curve. Now why does she need a learning curve if you can curve if you can command storms all you got to do is command storms. Jesus uh, commanded things with a single word. He didn't have to go on and on and on for they've been doing this for six days. Does she mean by a learning curve that one video she was waving a peacock feather around and two videos she had a staff and was doing it like this and you know staffs and uh, peacock feathers is things that witchcraft that witches do and uh, casting their spells and everything. So what is the learning curve? Do they need uh, maybe four peacock feathers instead of one? And maybe six people waving staffs instead of one? Uh, what is the learning curve? What is there to learn? You can either control the weather or you can't. Doing something about the weather. And it may be up and down, up and down for a while, but everything we say makes a difference. And there's other things involved when you, when you do something like this. 
has been extremely <coughs> feared in the state of Florida. Yeah. And I, I know that's because of what happened in Texas. And a lot of people say things like, why didn't you deal with the storm in Texas? I was overseas, okay? I was overseas ministering. That's why I'm like, okay, God, can I... Okay, yeah, she says that she was overseas, but uh, one of my Facebook friends asked her uh, why she didn't do that. She said she was overseas, but if you go down on her second or third video at the very uh, beginning of the video, she says that she just got back from Seattle, Washington. She claims that she didn't do nothing about Harvey because she was overseas and didn't know about it. Well, it was a worldwide news event anywhere you were in the world before Harvey hit. It was, uh, you should have known about it. She's got a direct line to God. If she has a direct line to God, how could she not know about it? Train them all to do this. Because I'm not always going to be where something is happening. And even though we can do this here, really when you're physically where things are taking place, that's when you're the most powerful. But in the spirit, we can still do something, and we're going to do it right now. This is going live on Facebook. Amen. This is my weather order session number four right now. So if you've not ever done this in your life, if you're a member of the body, just join with us, okay? You have a voice in this world. You have authority through Jesus Christ. He stopped the storms. He was over the weather. You are over the weather. Now it's been generations, probably since Christ has been here, that so much has come against the enemy's plans. Yes, the enemy can get in the weather. It's been generations since somebody come against the uh, the devil's plans to use the uh, weather to uh, destroy uh, uh, destroy the earth and so on and so forth to kill and maim and destroy. Uh, We've been doing it a long time. We, we I went back in history. Time. You'll never see uh, in history uh, uh, Christians trying to control uh, the weather with their words and power and authority. It just didn't happen. This didn't happen until the introduction of the word of faith, till people like uh, 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 Ken and Gloria Copeland started claiming that they could uh, control the weather, and then it spread, this false teaching spread of the new apostolic reformation, which she's a revelator or a prophet. She says she doesn't give individual prophets on the prophecies, that she only gives corporate prophecies. Uh, she says that Jesus told her to dye her hair pink because it would be more effective for ministering. I didn't know anything about Kat Kerr until her videos came across my timeline on Facebook just uh, like six days ago whenever this all started. Anymore. This is the time for us to stand up, stand out, and be who God made us to be, rulers in this world, and not see the one who thinks he is a ruler, okay? Yeah. So everyone stand up, we're going to do this together. And any time I say you're going to choose with your will, everything God did or created, he did it with his will. When you choose with your will to do something, it is really powerful. It has a great impact because it's you well, focusing and saying, I'm choosing to do this. Yeah. I'm not just saying it, I'm choosing to do it. So we're all going to say, and as a body of Apparently, God's will is overridden all these people's will and their authority and their powerful words because uh, we're fixing to see here in a minute that uh, Hurricane Irma has been, it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon Texas time and uh, uh, Irma's been slamming Florida for a long time. It wiped out the uh, Caribbeans. It wiped out a lot of stuff in um, uh, uh, Cuba. And uh, it was early this morning. It was battering the Florida Keys. And now it's uh, pretty well much ravaging uh, uh, all of Florida with even Miami. I've seen uh, early this morning uh, pictures in Miami where the wind was just so strong that there was a reporter uh, out and she was in front of the news and the wind gust come by and just swished her out of the picture. Uh, the wind was so strong. And that was in Miami, not to mention, uh, and it would be much worse on the west coast of Florida. Christ, I choose with my will to come against the storm that is attacking Florida. We take power. 
power. Threw out all this, she kept uh, commanding the millibars, which is the uh, measure that they measure the uh, pressure inside the eye of the storm. And at one point, she said that if the millibars go down, the that increases the power and intensity of the storm. And then uh, a couple of videos later, she said that the uh, uh, the video the uh, millibars went up, and that caused the uh, storm to diminish. She got that all mixed up, so. If she can really command the millibars, well, she's uh, uh, at one point or another, she was uh, commanding the storm to get bigger. And millibars are not something that you command to change. She would be needing to command the pressure within the eye of the storm. The millibars is just the way of measuring it. It's not an actual thing. Uh, it's a totally abstract idea and uh, way of measuring things. It's not a tangible thing like the uh, the pressure inside the storm is. To run! To run! To crush that storm! To crush that storm! We tell that storm! We tell that storm! We are over you! We are over you! We are under you! We are under you! The destruction will stop! The destruction will stop! You will dissipate! You will dissipate! The destruction will stop. We're fixing to watch a little bit of footage about the destruction that's going on in Florida right now. And uh, it's not going to stop just because she said so. We will no longer tolerate. Even though she's had thousands of people over the last six days uh, 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 also speaking and commanding the storm with her and agreeing and, and, uh, and all that, it still hasn't done no good. And now she's got a whole church deceived and doing this uh, witchcraft veiled in Christian terms, doing this weather witching, thinking that they have the power to control storms, when obviously they haven't because it's doing so much death and destruction, and Kat Kerr is responsible for this death and destruction because at one video she told people to quit preparing for the big one, in another video in the commentary up above, she inferred that if you're an adult, that you should not evacuate, you should stand, uh, stay there and stand in your faith and keep commanding the storm. And uh, she told you not to be uh, enveloped by a spirit of fear, that uh, it was really going to work. You didn't have to be concerned or fearful over the storm if you was in Florida. And conveniently, she's in Ohio, here in this church in Ohio, ministering now when she lives in Florida. And uh, her house is probably getting ravaged, but she's not there. And But the people that she told to remain there are there. Be in control by the weather. In Jesus' name, we declare this. And she does a lot of whooping like that uh, at the end of her videos. I don't know why. Uh, that gives her commands an extra punch. You can look here. We'll come back in a minute and we'll look at some of the comments. But right now, Let's go, I googled, uh, just googled Irma in Florida, says uh, at least three dead. Now I heard this morning that there were four dead already. Uh, here it says, uh, let's, uh, this is what uh, South Florida looks like now. Let's take, this was published four minutes ago by uh, CNN. There's the picture that's going around of the guy getting uh, swept off his feet by the storm. Here's uh, uh, in Miami. Uh, you got to keep in mind that the uh, storm uh, brought a 15-foot storm surge. Uh, it makes a lot of it go underwater. Here's uh, there's the uh, 
where the storm surge came up and the streets are full of water and there's a tree down there's a lady walking down the street um, people in a shelter and there's all kinds of pictures here people right waiting to get ice the world. See the good uh, day with you can just keep an eye open you'll see plenty plenty of uh, of a video and stuff of the storm and the destruction that it's bringing right now and uh, says uh, here Irma makes landfall in Florida Keys and will roar up the states uh, I imagine it's going to say west coastline will roar up the states Gulf Coast uh, here's uh, four cameras watching Hurricane Irma let's see uh, if what kind of video footage they have here of uh, Hurricane Irma. Let's see what it pulls up here. I really don't see much movement there, but you can uh, I've seen a lot of uh, coverage on Facebook, and uh, it's pretty, pretty savage. And uh, here she is, uh, some of her followers, still, after six days, they're claiming, we declare this in Jesus' name. People are already dead, and it's growing. There's a skeptic. She, she uh, must be too busy to, uh, to erase uh, dissenters like she was. She's uh, uh, blocked me and blocked several of my friends. Uh, here's, uh, let's see, a while ago I was able to uh, pull up all the comments from this. Right now it looks like I can't, uh, let's see, I really want to read a couple of more of these comments. Let's see, here's view comments. Okay, it says, uh, people, the only way to make a difference in these weather storms is to do it yourself. What cat is helping to teach you yourself, it'll make a huge difference. It hasn't made a difference so far. Apparently, Jesus stopped the storm with a single word. If you were anywhere near correct, you should be able to stop the storm with a single word, too. How stupid, dumb can people be? And that's right on. Uh, you know, somebody, she don't have anybody uh, watching over this Facebook page to uh, block all these people. You know, they got to say, uh, flat earth is near on par. Got to love the trolls. Flat earthers not putting people directly in the path. And she said, and somebody says, true, uh, I better go check just in case they have come up with a new idea that involves trying to fight hurricane with fans. Actually, I seen a video where people were actually uh, doing that. They were pointing fans at Hurricane Irma to try to blow it back out to sea. <laughs> that's just, and that's almost as silly as using your authority and uh, power to do this. Here somebody else says the winds, the rains, the earth do not comply with the plans of the enemy. Jesus paid the price to give us dominion over you, and we command you to obey in the Most High God and be quiet now. Well, the storm's still ravaging. This was made uh, six hours ago. Here's one 32 seconds, uh, 34 minutes ago. Thank you, Cat. I saw Kelly prophesying over us in Spokane uh, in her group home, giving us a lot of encouragement, so excitement. Here's another uh, dissenter saying, stop supporting this wolf. You're setting yourself up like a stake before wolves. She's saying that she can change the weather. You're being duped. Yes, they are. But these people have such an invo emotional investment in this that they cannot see. I mean, they would uh, be in the middle of the storm themselves, uh, fixing to get killed, and they would still say that this works and would still be commanding the storm instead of doing something prudent like getting in a basement and stuff like that. You can come through here. Let's read a random one. Let's read this one. Thank you for guiding us. We have power over the enemy uh, here with you, Cat. Uh, thank you for teaching us. We cover Florida with the blood of the Lamb. Amen. I come in agreement with you, Cat Kerr. Pray for us in South Georgia that uh, are not used to getting these kinds of storms. So they're not going to kill the storm. So this lady knows the South Georgia is going to get it. And uh, uh, here they are quoting scriptures. 
Here's uh, this last one. Let's uh, read this last one, and then I'll let y'all go. Thank you, Father and Cat, for these weather warrior sessions. We are bashing all destructive weather into nothingness and commanding the host of heaven to do their job. Yes, we rule because Jesus rules. Uh, you know, these people are into the kingdom now theology, and they're just loony as hell. Uh this uh, uh, storm, this attempt to try to control the weather uh, really highlights how uh, the things that they do is all bogus BS, and it doesn't work. Uh, you know, Kat Kerr uh, claims to have been to uh, heaven numerous times. She's written a book. She's been on all the shows like Sid's Ross, Supernatural, uh, uh Betty or uh, Pat King, whatever that is, on her show, and claimed a whole lot of different things. She's claimed that she uh, was taken back in time to uh, actually get to witness the uh, the crucifixion and resurrection of Christ. She says that the Father materialized her in the tomb at the moment when Christ was uh, raised from the dead, and uh, it's all just psycho. And uh, as you can look on the news anywhere today, it hasn't helped at all. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Check out my other videos to see the other videos that she's made. And I'll talk to you all later. Again, this is Damon Witzel from the How To, How To with a numeral 2, How To Christian Apologetics Ministry. You can see all my websites at DamonWitzel.com. I specifically have a, a group blog with over a 1,000 posts with uh, six or seven different authors where we focus on the Word of Faith movement and that's it. That's called the Word on the Word of Faith and the address is the Word on the Word of Faith infoblog.com. Y'all have a good one now.